So if you are looking to make your first website, but you don't want to get technical with something like self-hosting or WordPress or Webflow, then you're probably considering a website builder like Wix or Squarespace that makes website design and maintenance and, and building and everything else super, super easy. As easy as anything else you do on your computer. But there are quite a few differences between these two. So which one's actually better? Well, I've used both of these for countless different websites and I've also made full length tutorials about both Wix and Squarespace. But here we are in late 2022 or early 2023 and a lot has changed here. In the past years, the Squarespace editor has really been redesigned to be easier and more flexible than it was before. It now is a lot more similar to Wix, rendering many of the comparisons you may have seen or read possibly outdated. And that's exactly why I'm making this comparison. These are the two most powerful and popular website builders on the internet. Wix and Squarespace are used by tons and tons of different businesses, portfolios, individuals, anything you could think of, whatever the reason is for you making a website to be on the internet, these are two powerful tools. But which one is actually the best for you? So we have six categories throughout this video, including the pricing, the search engine optimization, so how well you can rank on Google, the ability to do e-commerce or scheduling or things like that, the ability to design with the templates and the ease of use of the interface in general, as well as the blogging features, and of course, the extensions, the integrations, the apps, everything in that category. So six different categories to talk about. I wanna start off with the templates, the design, and the ease of use. I'm calling that one category there. Basically, when you're making your website, which one does a better job of making it look good and, and easy to do at the same time. So the good news is they're both very, very easy to use. We've made full tutorials on either one of them. As I mentioned, I'll have them linked below. So at the end of this video, whichever one you choose that you want to start with, you can go and start with those tutorials. But there are obviously some pretty big differences. I think the easiest way for me to explain this is to just show you really quickly what it looks like. So with Squarespace, you have over 100 different templates. Honestly, I think these all look really good. When you get started, they give you options for what style of website you're making. So whether it's a blog, a scheduling, so if you're like a doctor, a lawyer, whatever, something like that, memberships, portfolio, or an online store. And with any one of those, you can go down and see tons and tons of different th uh, templates that honestly make it really easy. So we can go and preview this one and see that, like I said, it's a pretty curated design. There's not a whole lot you'll have to change, but when you wanna change stuff, it is easy to do. So let's just say, for sake of example, we wanna start with this design. The way Squarespace is set up is you'll see your website on the right side. On the left side, you have all your different options. So you can go into different marketing tools and, and analytics and things like that in the deep settings, or you can click on edit right there. And this is going to be how you're able to actually edit your, uh, let's close that right there, how to edit your actual website. So as you can see, it's a section layout just like Wix is. And so you can add different sections in between them, move them up and down and things like that. But what's new with Squarespace this year is if I want this image to be in a slightly different location, rather than having to just add, you know, spacers on either side, I can just click and drag it and you can see that grid pops up. So now that we have that grid, you can see that we can move this basically anywhere on the screen and put it there, for example. We can overlap images. And so obviously this does open up the, uh, the door for more error, right? Like different display sizes can be slightly different, but the benefit here is that you don't have to use that. You can have everything set up exactly how Squarespace does by default and just add different elements here and there, but clicking and dragging gives you that added flexibility that previously you could only get with Wix. And on top of that, we can also go over to the mobile view and edit this here as well. So if we want, for example, the, the phone website, which is probably going to be a lot of your traffic, if we want this to be slightly different, we can move things around here and move that to say over there. And then if we go back to the desktop view, it was right where we left it. So you're editing two different websites, but they're going to essentially be the same website, just optimized for each device. And that's something that Squarespace does very well by, by making a website curated for one device, but also very responsive for another, while still being flexible to adjust things and tweak them exactly how you want. But now with Squarespace, if you wanna add more things in here, you can say add block, blocks are just anything within that section. And you can see we have a lot of different options for what we could add. It could be from Twitter integrations, it could be an, an audio thing, a clip, we can have a button, a video, tons and tons of different things. And as I mentioned, I'll talk a lot more about that at the end of the video when you go over and check out the full tutorial. Let's take a look at this, the, the Wix website editor because Wix has over 800 different templates. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, but the editor is a little bit more freeform, even more so than this. So a lot of sources say Wix has 800 different templates, but it kind of works in a very different style now. So rather than just choosing 
like one template that makes sense for you, you go through several different stages and they'll ask like what kind of font and themes you like, so what colors and fonts that make sense for you, and then what you want your about page to look like, what you want your home page to look like, what kind of, uh, what you're making on your website, like what specific niche you're in, and then it combines all that to give you a pretty customized and honestly pretty ready website that I think looks pretty good and is easy to customize. So you can see right here, this is the Wix editor, and as a side note, whenever you're ready to get started with these, you can go down and use the link in the top of the description to open up Wix or Squarespace, or you can go to santralmedia.com slash Wix or santralmedia.com slash Squarespace to get your free trial and to get started with either one of these. Like I said, it's a section layout just like we saw on Squarespace. You can add sections between them. I love how Wix gives you the option to kind of zoom out and move things up and down a little bit more easily. And of course, on the left side, we can add elements and they have a massive, massive list of different elements you can add. And within each one, you can go and choose different styles. So if I wanna add a button, we've got tons and tons of different buttons that might make sense. So maybe you don't want a classic button with text in it, like the rectangle button. Maybe you want something like this right here, a little email button. Now you, you just click and drag it anywhere on the screen and it gives you not the grid layout that we saw in Squarespace, but rather little references to say, this is centered with that text. This is lined up with the top or bottom justified. And so you can really customize it more, a little bit more than you can on Squarespace. But of course, with that, you have that balance between customization and the ability to make errors and break stuff, right? And by that, I mean, if somebody opens this up with a slightly different aspect ratio on their screen or on an iPad, for example, or any other device, it might not look exactly as you want. And that's why, of course, in the tutorial, I said it's important to test these out. But of course, in general, I'd say between the two, I would say that I like the Squarespace templates better. I like how you can go and look at all of them and choose which one makes the most sense for you rather than this process, which is more behind the scenes. But the editor itself, I think, although Squarespace is very robust, if you're looking for less customization, but more so just get it done and get it done very easily, Squarespace wins. But for me personally, I'm, I'm somebody that likes to kind of tinker and, and, and customize the website exactly as I want it. And Wix gives me some more fun functionality for that. One other huge feature with Wix is the mobile app. So you can get a mobile app for your website that can be in the App Store or in Google Play Store. And so if you're a restaurant or something like that, you can go and have people order from your, from your app. Moving on to the next category, this is blogging. Obviously blogging is a really powerful tool to help you rank higher in Google and, and grow an audience and, and otherwise provide more value back to the internet that can in turn give you more traffic in return. And so blogging is important, but WordPress obviously is still the best blogging platform out there. It's a little bit more technical. We've made tutorials on it. I know I keep saying that in this video, but if you're looking at website builders between Wix and Squarespace, which one does it better? Well, Wix has its usual customization like we see on any other website building page. Uh, like I showed you the homepage, for example. So you can make your blogs look really amazing and very customized as well. Squarespace has kind of always had the lead on this category though. They've always been a little bit better for blogging because they have a lot of great tools that allow you to do things like schedule posts and moderate comments and, and even pre-moderate comments to block certain profanity or other words you might not want on there. And Squarespace also makes it easy to do things like host a podcast. I know that's not technically a blog, but the ability to have an RSS feed from your Squarespace site is yet another great feature to have, especially for something somebody looking to make more content out there. Wix does have a, a podcast player, but you pretty much have to host a podcast somewhere else when you're using Wix. So without a doubt, the winner when it comes to blogging is Squarespace. Moving on to e-commerce, both of them do have quite a few different functionalities here, including membership areas where people can sign in and this could even be an email capture method as well. Wix has uh, restaurants and bookings and things like that. Squarespace similarly has their own scheduling features. They both allow point of sale, so in-person sales as well, and both can drop ship with a lot of partners like Printful and AliExpress. So between the two of them, while they are both pretty decent for e-commerce, I think this one's a little bit more of a toss up. And I think it comes down to what you're selling and what you want it to actually look like. If you really like the design of Wix, then maybe that's going to help you sell some more products and maybe that would be better. Maybe Squarespace keeps it a little bit more simple and they have a lot of tools on the back end for inventory tracking. But again, between the two of them, it really is kind of a tie there. And I think we have to move on to the next category. The next category is the extensions, the apps, and the plugins. And this one has a very clear winner. 
Wix has a massive app market with over 250 different compatible apps or plugins or whatever you want to call it. Wix calls them apps. And these could be things like MailChimp, for example, to grow an email list or anything like that. You can uh, connect things for different drop shipping functionality. If you're doing e-commerce, you can have different apps that will text people once they buy stuff and help them track their shipments. You just have so many different apps out there that can add a ton of functionality to your website with very little effort from you and also without cluttering up the, the Wix dashboard, right? You don't need all these settings all over there. You can choose what apps you want to get. Some of them are free. A lot of them are made by Wix on the Wix app uh, on the app market, but some of them are paid as well, depending on what you're looking for. And the benefit there, like I mentioned, is that Wix does make a lot of apps. Wix has a ton from their own, so if we just check it out right now. So to show you guys on Wix, you can go to the app market and they have a ton of different things, like social media icons, custom background music. You can go down and have different things like an events calendar, profit tracking, you can go down and have different forms. And of course, Wix has a lot as well. Like I said, like Wix bookings, stores, events, blog, like all these different things that can add massive things into your website. And the benefit of being made by Wix is that you can essentially guarantee they're going to work seamlessly here and be so easy to use just like the rest of Wix. If you're a, a restaurant, these two are gonna be absolutely perfect for you. And they kind of group things together in a very logical way. But Squarespace, is growing and catching up as well with some of the most important ones already there. But it's still only between maybe 30 and 60 extensions. Like I said, they have a lot of the fundamental important ones, but the difference is that unlike Wix where they have like a blog and events and bookings as totally different things, Squarespace doesn't have those as extensions. Instead, they're more already integrated into Squarespace. So the benefit with Squarespace, of course, is that you don't have to go into this app market and find which uh, apps and extensions you want, but rather Squarespace already has all of that baked in, or at least most of it. Like I said, bookings, events, blog, stores, a lot of that stuff, they don't count that as an app or an extension. So don't be fooled by the numbers there. A lot of the things that say, you know, way more extensions for Wix, a lot of that is related to things that you can already get on Squarespace. They both have lots of functionality for blogging and digital services and e-commerce. So with this one, although you can get a lot of functionality out of either one of them, the clear winner is Wix with that larger app market. Moving on to the next one, this is search engine optimization, the ability to rank on Google, the ability to be found by Google. And there's a lot of things that are not necessarily related to the website builder, right? Like links, backlinks, uh, the content you're writing, the articles you're choosing to write, things like that that's gonna be different, right? But both of these have their own great tools that can help you kind of optimize yourself as well as do the backend stuff. But starting off with the backend stuff, it's kind of a tie. They both offer meta descriptions and URL slug customization. They both offer Google Analytics. And although Wix used to be better in this category because they have their massive SEO wizard, Squarespace, of course, has quite a few functionalities as well that can help you rank better on Google. So they both do a really great job. They both include all the standards like SSL encryption uh, and things like that. But I would say that in general, I kind of lean a little bit more towards Wix, like I said, because of that SEO wizard. So if we just go back to the Wix dashboard, you'll see that on the left side, you can click on marketing and SEO and you can just click on start now and they walk you through such a nice process of adding everything that you might need. Again, you can do a lot of this stuff with Squarespace and it's always kind of a matter of preference for which one's easier, which one's more customizable. But I think, you know, for my own personal preference, Wix pulls ahead very slightly there. Now, as far as pricing goes, these are obviously strong competitors, so they're pricing very similarly. Squarespace starts at $16 per month when you pay annually, and then they have four different tiers, so they've got $23, $27, and $49 per month. Again, all of that is when you pay annu annually. If you choose to only pay monthly, they're gonna be a little more expensive, and Wix does something very, very similar. $16, 22, 27, 45. So the higher ones are very slightly cheaper, but the lowest one is $16 on either one of them. But Wix also has some more options for e-commerce and for enterprise, and, and they really kind of stratify it all over the place. And Wix also has their own free version as well. So unlike Squarespace, which allows you to have a, a free trial, but then forces you into you know, paying to get the full suite of, of, of their functionality, Wix allows you to work on the free platform for a really long time. Obviously, it's a lot more limited. You can't get a custom domain, and, and I would always recommend upgrading, but it's nice that they have that option as well. So as far as pricing goes, the winner is Wix. But 
In conclusion, which one is the better website builder for you? Although each of these categories, I mean, it's so tempting to just add them up and say, which one got the most points? I think it really depends a lot on your needs, right? Like if you don't care about blogging or e-commerce, then why add points up for either of those? So when you're looking at the two of these, this is what you need to ask yourself. Do you want to customize everything on your website and choose exactly where things are? And do you wanna to have tons and, like, tons and tons of customization in which case Wix is going to be a really great option for you. With more customization in the actual design tools, as well as more plugins or apps that you can get on there, Wix is a fantastic option. But if you just wanna make a website and, and you don't wanna get as technical, you wanna have mostly, it already laid out for you, a good design, and you just wanna go in and add images and you know tweak things around here and there and just have a robust, ready-to-go website, Squarespace really is the turnkey solution, giving you, like I said, a more curated experience without needing to get more apps, without needing to customize exactly where everything is, but still allowing you to if you wanted to. They're both really great options. So leave a comment below and let me know which one you think won this comparison. As always, if you are ready to choose either one of these, we have links down below to get started with your free trial, as well as full tutorials for either one of them. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. I'm Mike O'Brien, thanks for watching. See you next time.